Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. Now I'm starting these series of Python programming videos with a basic introduction to Python. Now if you're a physicist, there are going to be many things you're going to want to perform in a program that is going to be more tedious and complex than simply working the problem on pen and paper. For example, calculations dealing with exponentials or multiplying matrices or dealing with graphs. Now, Python comes with tools for doing these tasks more easily and quickly. And these tools are divided into what we call packages. And packages are essentially a collection of related useful things. So this video is really a quick walkthrough for how you can download some of these packages in Python that we will be using in this series. So I have PyCharm open, so let's open a new project. And if you have Python, you can follow along as well. Much of the code that we will be going over does not need to be typed in PyCharm, so you can use whatever you feel comfortable with, but some things we're going to need to set up in PyCharm, so let's get that working. So we're going to create a new project, and you can name your project whatever you want. I'm just going to, for simplicity, I'm just going to name this intro. And you're going to hit create. <clears throat> and sometimes creating the virtual environment can take a while, so you may have to wait. And once it's completed, now the packages that we're going to install today are math, numpy, matplotlib, and vpython, which is also called visual. So in order to install these, you would go to PyCharm. And this is on a Mac, by the way. Uh, you'll just go to File, Settings if you're on a Windows machine. But here we can go to PyCharm, Preferences, and then we want Project, and then we're going to click on Project Interpreter. And here you have a list of your packages, the current version of those packages, and what the latest version is. So that way you have a good representation. Sometimes you may need to update a lot of your packages and you might be falling behind the actual current version. So in order to install new packages you want to look in the lower left hand here and click on this plus icon. And so let's go ahead and try downloading NumPy which is at the search bar at the top here. So we have NumPy and you just simply type it in and it will give you a list here. So we see NumPy and we click on install package. And depending on how big the package is, it could take some time. So, so that's successfully installed. Next is matplotlib. And we're going to install this package. Uh, just so I can give a brief explanation, now NumPy, the first package we installed, is a package for scientific computing within Python. So it's going to be useful for linear algebra, random number, and like Fourier transformation, and there's a lot of other things that you can do. It can also integrate um, with other programming languages such as C and C++ and also Fortran. And matplotlib is a Python 2D plotting library that's used to generate many different graphs. So you can basically visualize your data and calculations in graphical representation. So now that that's installed, we're going to do vpython. Install package. And vpython makes it easy to generate 3D animations and objects. Um, there's going to be some programs in where we want to represent a ball dropping. So we'll do the physics calculation of representing a ball being dropped from a height X amount away, so on top of a building. And we can do the math and calculate, see how long it takes for it to drop, see if there's any real world uh, applications to it. And then we can actually just generate a 3D program that will help simulate that. Okay, great, vPython successfully installed. And one thing to mention, the math module or math package does not have to be installed. Uh, it's always part of the Python interpreter, so that's always pretty good. 
So now that we have those installed, let's see how packages, modules, and functions are used in the pro program. So to get out of here, we can just exit out. And we can click OK. And once we create, we're going to need to create a Python uh, file. Normally, you would think that it would create it automatically, but we'll actually may have to manually install it here. So what you want to do is right click, click new, and click Python file. And you can name it again, whatever you want this file to be called. So let's just do intro just to keep the theme. So let's work a simple calculation. So this section of code here tells the computer to import the logarithm function from the math package here. And I'll go over in detail a lot of what these things mean later. Um, so basically what this program is doing, it's going to calculate a natural logarithm of 12.8 and set it equal to the variable x. And the print function will then display that result from the variable that we've used. So let's go ahead and see what we get. So we can see that the log of 12.8 is 2.5494 and so on. So this is just a basic introduction on how to import the packages and how to use the, the modules contained within Python so that we can perform some uh, mathematical calculations that we'll be using for a lot of the physics that we will be implementing in our programs. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment if you found this helpful. I'm going to try and pump out more of these videos because I don't see many of these videos dealing with computation and I think they could be very helpful for anyone trying to bridge the gap between the math and physics that we do on pen and paper within programming. So we're going to have a lot of fun combining math, physics, and programming so I'll see you guys in the next video.